bucks, 15 bucks, something somewhere around there. to show you guys a little I guess you could call this a welding hack or a, a welding life hack and it it involves a fan of all things so I'll show you what I'm about to do here so I'm welding these lifting hooks onto the 8N here uh, there's one there there's one there one there and then there's one also just over here on the same place here so this fan uh, you can buy that you can buy them online this is a comfort zone fan I think it was 25 bucks 20 bucks 15 bucks something somewhere around there and it's got this nice little clip on it and you can loosen this knob and pivot it and you can also turn it so I have a an extension cord with uh, three plugs on it for welding so one for a grinder one for the welder and one for the fan so I being that I'm welding with flux core I do not like having to deal with all of the fumes and I swear every time I'm welding those fumes follow me everywhere they're always hitting my mask and they always go up underneath the mask and or they're the welding helmet and then they uh, you know you have to breathe those fumes and I, I sometimes just try to I try to hold my breath doing this and it's really doesn't make it for fun welding I and mean, I don't mind welding to begin with but having to hold my breath to do this is not fun at all so this fan I think it only pulls it's not even one amp it's just a little one and the reason why I got the one that clips on is I can take this since I have the bucket right here clip that on uh, I do wish it, the clip was a little bit better and then what I can do is take the fan here and aim it right where I'm welding and they say you're not supposed to weld in the wind, and obviously this would be a lot of wind to be welding in. And I just, it's much better for me to weld with this fan here blowing across the weld and keeping all the fumes and stuff out of my face. You know, I don't know what kind of paint is on this tractor here. It's This is a 48 or 49 Ford 8N that I'm uh, welding these hooks onto, and they're lifting points and I don't know what kind of paint they use and you know I just don't want to be breathing this stuff and obviously I've cleaned the weld and stuff but you know you can melt paint and whatnot even further away from the weld because obviously things are getting so hot but this fan is a lifesaver and I really like using it I'm, I've enjoyed putting these hooks on today not having to be breathing any fumes whatsoever uh, for the most part and uh, this fan has a, a low speed, off, and then high, and uh, it seems to work quite well. So I guess you guys can watch me, watch me weld with the fan on, and then I guess I'll weld with the fan off, or maybe I'll do it off first. Yeah, you know what? I'll do that. So I'll weld with this without the fan on, and you'll see the smoke and stuff. It, it always just seems to follow me everywhere where I go, no matter if I keep my head out of the smoke plumes and stuff, but. I know a lot of people say you're not supposed to weld in the wind, but this is flux core, and you could also do this with stick. And if you didn't want it sitting on the, or if you didn't want the fan blowing on the weld, then you can just put it above it, and then hopefully it'll uh, it'll take the majority of the fumes away, and it's really uh, a lifesaver. 
I was looking at buying a fume extractor and we only have in this building, we only have a 20 amp service for 110 volt. I don't have any 220 volt electricity. So this was really my only option to keep the uh, fumes and stuff out of my face. A fume extractor is a couple thousand dollars and you could probably make one out of a blower of some sort, but I don't have enough electricity here to run something that big where this fan only is less than one amp. So I mean, it, it, it might be, I think it's like 0.4 or 0.6 of an amp, uh, something like that. And I mean, it doesn't draw hardly any electricity and I haven't tripped a breaker or anything. So I guess without further ado, let's start welding and you guys can see, see what the plume of smoke does without the fan and with the fan. So this will be welding without the fan on. So no fan here whatsoever. And you'll see it's, of course, whenever I'm doing this, I'm sure the uh, smoke will not be an issue, but uh, you never, you never know. Hope you guys can see the smoke coming above, coming off of the weld and hitting the mask. It's not terrible right now. So that was without the fan, and I really wasn't getting too much smoke, of course, because I'm filming. So I'll turn this on, on turn the fan on, and then you guys can see what it looks like uh, with the fan blowing. So this is with the fan on. I think you guys will be uh, pretty amazed at how well this fan works with just blowing the smoke away from the mask. Uh, even to start with here, you can't even see it. And then I guess I get to a dirtier part of the steel or whatever the reason may be. Now you can see the, the smoke is blowing away from my face and I'm, I'm not breathing any of this smoke whatsoever. And these are galvanized hooks that I'm welding on here. So it's not good to be breathing the smoke that comes off of those from welding. So I hope you guys could see there how well the uh, fan worked. And it seemed to blow the, f the welding fumes away just fine and really have no, I have no complaints. Uh, this thing seems to work pretty well and it is pretty cheap. You know, this fan's only uh, 25 bucks at the most, I think. And a, a fume extractor is, I don't know, a few thousand dollars. And the uh, scroll cage blower and stuff, this is the cheapest thing, the cheapest route to go. And I, I think this is a, a pretty good thing to have, and it's cheap, so... And it seems to work quite well. So I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And hopefully we will see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.